Hello everyone. Today I spend uh, one day on some uh, project. A lot of products already existing. Meta also have uh, two solutions for this thing. One of, of them is Airlink, which is a sort of um, bringing PC into your quest. And you can also use a tethered one. You can play Steam games, which you can run on PC in your quest and also see the desktop on your quest. One problem with Airlink, it doesn't work for Linux. They also have uh, another solution, which I actually like more. It's uh, called Remote Desktop. It's uh, not 3D app in Quest. It's a flat app like uh, your browser. And you can also connect your PC to it and uh, use your Quest as a screen. It also doesn't work for Linux. There is a uh, more solutions, a big screen. I don't think it does work for Linux. It doesn't work for Linux. Also, it's a 3D app, so you can see in the here it's immersed application. So there is another LVR. LVR works for Linux. You can play uh, Steam games over LVR, which is uh, quite cool. So you can install a game on Linux on your Steam and uh, play them. You can play Half-Life Alex, for example. I had the most success with uh, immersed app. But it's also, it's in name, it's immersed application. I would probably prefer to have something like a remote desktop, but immerse does work for Linux and uh, it has a really low latency, but there is uh, some problems. Audio doesn't work and uh, it's immersed. The controller's a little bit clunky. I use the Vista app the most of the time, then I want to work on my computer through VR. I made the uh, sort of similar as a um, remote desktop. It works for Linux. I just pushed a repository called uh, Screencast. So it's on uh, Mika 314 Screencast. I did it in one day. I used the uh, ChatGPT to make it. So this is the <laughs> all my communication with ChatGPT to help me. It's quite cool thing. Probably without ChatGPT, it would take for me the whole week to do. I did it in just one day with help of ChatGPT, here is the source code, and I'm going to demo it to you. One thing, I do not know, maybe I'll record it on my iPhone. One thing, first you need to tether it to your computer. Here is it. My VR headset, my VR headset. So I'm uh, going to connect it to my USB like this and uh, connect the cable to the headset. That's my the sound on the screen. I need to type this command. It doesn't work. For some reason, my USB cable is depends of the orientation. So I need to swap it. Oh, I didn't work neither. Oh. So I'm going to rotate it again. Oh, I think it's made two sounds. I think we're good. Yeah, USB detected. Okay. Here we go. Then I need to start screencast. Go in the headset. And I'm probably going to press the record button in the headset. Okay, Meta. Start recording. Starting. Okay, so I'm inside. Here I need to type localhost 8090. And yeah, of course it doesn't work because it's got disconnected. So let me see. Let me yeah I'll open the new term ADB reverse. TCP, 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 TCP 8090, TCP 8090. Hopefully, I would be able to load it. Yeah, so we load it. You can see full screen here, and then I click on this button, I would be able to see my, my screen. And uh, I'm printing out the uh, frames which we did not met the uh, 60 frame per second criteria 
but here here we go we can uh, now use it as a remote desktop mouse is working we can see my screen it's all uh, running in the quality is not very good I just reduced the <laughs> I made the small commit I was wondering why my timings are so bad so I made uh, 4 megabits maybe I should return back to 6 this is my desktop it's uh, running uh, 60 frames per second this is my mouse moving and it feels pretty pretty nice I like to work with looking at the things also I like to have uh, screen smaller but I did not implement uh, changing the size this screen is a bit bigger why I like to run is um, in this mode like in the browser because I can watch YouTube let me open something mine uh, this is the podcast which we recorded with my friend Taxifon so I can run things the latency is pretty good it's running 60 frames per second and it feels really nice I like to run it uh, 120 but it was really hard to hit uh, 60 fps in one day <laughs> probably there is a some room for optimization the CPU usage is um, quite a big so it uses 25% out of my 8 cores plus um, multi-trading so 16 so it's a uh, four uh, four threads fully saturated it's quite high even I said uh, thread count to, to one but I think one of the biggest CPU usage uh, is um, the um, converting from RGB to YUV format I did it m using quite barbaric way to do it uh, so where is it RGB to YUV convert ah so it's a um, separate file and I just made uh, 16 threads and did it, it straightforward. There is a assembly optimization can um, improve it probably <laughs> eight times if you know what to, how to do this thing. I'm not very good at SSE to assembly, so I asked ChatGPT to do this thing, but it did not work. So I do not know very well assembly. So I asked ChatGPT, but it gave me the code, but it did not work. <laughs> this you know, CMD RGB to YUV. And it's actually did two iterations, and I just do not know how to read this thing. I probably need to spend some time. There is a bunch of comments figuring out what's wrong with this code. It generated first iteration. It didn't work, and I said, check the code for bugs. And it's like, oh yeah, there is a bugs, and I'm going to fix them. And it did not fix them. There is a room for optimization. It, it is hitting 60 frames per second quite consistently there is uh, some drop frames um, I think one of the reasons is um, I build it in debug maybe if I uh, recompile it this one is in release mode right yeah so there is a all free optimization hopefully this would help to have less dropped frames so I'm going to restart Oh, mm, no, there is a still. I think it's less draw frames, still few. I think it was better. I do not know what did it do. So I was rebuilding it in debug, and I was thinking maybe there is a, some debug code crept in here. I don't think it's there is a case. I did some tweaks, these tweaks. Maybe if I undo them, it would improve performance. Fixing code live. Okay, let's restart and uh, refresh browser. Ah, it did help. So there is no drop, drop frames, way less drop frames, and uh, quality also improved. Okay, so I broke it. <laughs> So yeah, of course, there is uh, plenty of tuning. I use the FFmpeg. The project is um, with the MIT license, but I use the FFmpeg. I do not know if I can, I think I can do, release it with MIT, but have a link with um, FFmpeg, because FFmpeg is uh, L LGPL. 
or GPL even for encoding I was using FFmpeg no B frames so there is no delays uh, ultra fast so it's ChatGPT gave me all these parameters and then it just sends data over web sockets and there is a very small client so it's a client JS I think the majority of the code is just the making the button <laughs> yeah this is the setting up the button and then it connects to localhost um, 8090 which is why we needed um, this command adb so this command is uh, creating the tunnel over the USB-C cable to the computer. All uh, requests to 8090 will go to 8090 on, uh, on my laptop from the Quest. There is a very little decoding on, so this is the code which is decoding and just dumping it on the screen. This is uh, quite a little index HTML. The biggest part is, yeah, <laughs> St having the start button beautiful blue color start button and this is the main code which is uh, not too much it's way um, very messy it's a uh, chat gpt generated i would probably need to spend some time and clean it up so this is main and this is the handmade uh, rgb to yuv conversion the ffmpeg one was uh, way slower so i have some timings right so there is a timings here they are drop fra framed timings, of course, but um, we can see the color conversion was uh, probably 60 times slower. <laughs> it was about 6 m milliseconds. So now it's uh, 0.1 in, in worst case. Uh, sometimes it's 2 milliseconds, right? Encoder is pretty good. I was very surprised Encoder did not contribute. It was like a color conversion and encoding is kind of same <laughs> timing screen grabbing the this is the slowest um, one first version was even slower but chat gpt helped me to find the faster one which is um, with shared shared memory shm version so you create the image and then you just um, yeah this this way is way faster but still kind of uh, take same time can you imagine encoding video which is the most complicated part <laughs> and it's um, I'm doing it on CPU I do not know why but uh, for some reason then I'm doing on uh, GPU my desktop start lagging so there is a commented out code which does work but um, my cursor become slower and everything just on desktop start lagging not sure why it's happening yeah look at this this is um, cool stuff i did it in one day chat gpt definitely improving my productivity then you know what kind of questions to ask we can uh, probably try to play some video uh with video you would see hearing let's do this one so this is slow moving oh yeah you you can see and because it's uh breakdown in 16 uh parts it's like it's not like a one line it's just the 16 lines across the video you can see right um some so, sort of wobbling so um i i think if i do um assembly optimization it would help this is the thing it's super cool but there isn't not too much to say <laughs> you can run um, from browser so i think it's a uh, advantage you do not need to install any application on your um, headset and it's uh, it's also runs from browser so it means anything you can do it on your cell phone or um, anything what has browser you can uh, make to you can uh, cast your uh, desktop or even our computer right um, so i did not do keyboard and mouse 
translation uh, from browser. I'm using my keyboard and mouse, which are connected to my laptop, but I can do I can do it uh, as well. The keyboard is not very uh, useful because I'm using headset and there is no keyboard on headset. But for mouse would be nice to sometimes not to grab grab the mouse because like if you are I already have a controller on my hand I probably would be nice to click uh, somewhere here do some clicks directly from the controller not from the not using the mouse it should not be hard to implement I just did not have time to implement I literally spent one one day uh, working on it like I woke up in the morning and start working on it and now I'm done <laughs> and uh, put the in the here in my repository so there is uh, not too much instructions essentially after everything is set up what you need to do you just need to connect USB cable run this command but you need to uh, install ADB and set it uh, into the developer mode which is I guess every enthusiast <laughs> should uh, do as soon as they get the uh, Oculus Quest and then yeah and just run the screencast and then in the browser put this this thing. Yeah, I mentioned already MIT. I'm, I want to keep it in MIT but I do not know how, I, how it's compatible with uh, FFmpeg. There is not too much instructions how to build it. I um, use my tool Codel uh, to build it and right now it's quite messy because I put Flux here directly but um, I probably should update my Codel repository and uh, not to make uh, <coughs> to put them in the config just to figure out it automatically yeah this is the cool stuff so yeah thank you for watching and uh, hopefully see you next time bye Okay, Meta, stop the recording.